New York to Munich in eight hours, non-stop from Central Europe to South Africa, crisscrossing the globe. State-of-the-art engines make flying quieter, cleaner and more efficient. But how exactly does a modern turbofan engine actually work? In a nutshell, by ingesting, compressing, combusting and then expelling air. Let's take a closer look. Turbofan engines operate according to the high bypass principle. Air is ingested and then separated into two parts behind the fan rotor. A small portion enters the engine core, while the other bypasses the interior assemblies. Let's look at the interior airflow first. The fan rotor draws in ambient air, which is then powerfully compressed in the low pressure and high pressure compressors. Next, the air flows into the combustor. This is where the fuel is injected, producing a mix of fuel and air that combusts continuously at about 1,700 degrees Celsius. The buildup of heat causes the gas to expand. It escapes from the combustor at high energy to flow through the high and low pressure turbines, causing their blades to rotate. The energy this releases drives the compressor and the fan. The geared turbofan engine contains a very special component called a reduction gearbox. It decouples the fan and the low pressure turbine. This new architecture lets all components run at their optimum speed. The large diameter fan slower and the low pressure compressor and low pressure turbine considerably faster. As a result, the geared turbofan is particularly economical and quiet. Now let's look at the portion of the air that bypasses the interior assemblies. Known as the sheath flow, it generates the majority of thrust, up to 80% in a separate nozzle. This cold bypass flow surrounds the hot exhaust gases from the engine core like a sheath, thus ensuring a reduction in noise emissions. Equipped with high-tech down to the tiniest part, turbofan aircraft engines are top-class technological products that must withstand extreme conditions. Some 30% of today's active aircraft in service worldwide have MTU aero engines components on board. 